What is Gucci, everyone? I'm back. I'm AJ, and I'm here to finish a video I started on the frames and bounds of iOS or UI views. Basically, how you set up every single window inside a view in Swift. In the last video that I'll link in the description, or at the end of this video, I covered frames. And in this video, I'm going to cover frames again, but also end with covering bounds. And I'm going to try to make, make this video a little bit quicker than last time. So, if you haven't watched the last video, basically all I did here is I'll run the app. I made a square, and then I made a square within that square. And I explained that the frame pertains to the super view the super views coordinates inside the coordinate system. So what I mean by that is, I'll show you when, I, when this app loads up and my memory monitor stops loading. It always takes a long time when you start up the app simulator. So I have a square at coordinates 50, 300, 300 Y, and the coordinate system starts in the top left corner, positive Y goes down, and positive X goes right, just so you guys remember. It's a little bit flipped than maybe the grid system you learn in high school, which is all mathematic. And then I made it a width of 100 and a height of 100, so it's a perfect square, and then the Y was 300. And then within it, I made the frame, which I passed into the constructor, the init method, I made the frame 50, 50, 30, 30. So within this, within the frame I added it to, it's 50 pixels to the right and 50 pixels down. And then it has a length of 30, 30. So those are both the frames of those views. And so the frame is relative to the super view. What is the super view? The super view is the view that is con it is contained in. For this green rectangle, this green square, the super view, is the view I added it to, which is the orange square. And for this orange square, the view is the entire screen. So with the carrier symbol, the entire UI view, the view that every initial controller has. But now we're going to go to bounds. So we know that frame corresponds to the super view, but bounds corresponds to just the view, the coordinates within the view, and they're normalized that way. So I'm going to make this a little bit more streamlined. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to start printing out these coordinates. So we're going to print out square one dot frame dot frame dot x. And I didn't put square one. And for the frame, I have the min x and the min y. And then we're also going to print out the bounds, which is another property. And we're going to see the difference here. So we're going to print out the bounds dot min x. So we're printing out the frame min, min x and the bounds min x. So this is going to both be the top left corner x corresponding to the bounds in the frame. So now if we go look at our output, we get two things. We get 50 and we get 0. So this is very important. So within our the frame again it corresponds to the bigger container. So square one is has an x coordinate is to the right by 50 pixels in it relative to its super view where it's being put on this bigger white canvas. And but according to its bounds, it's coordinate zero. So relative to just itself, the top left corner is coordinate zero. Now the reason because these differences are shown is because wh what if you wanted to change something by its bound? What if you wanted to change the coordinate system by its bounds instead of its frame? Well, you could get its frame on where it's initially set, or you could maybe just want to increase the bounds, increase the coordinates by just a set amount. So change 0 to plus 5 and just move it 5 pixels to the right instead of worrying exactly where it is on the screen with the frame. So that's basically it. That's all you need to know for frame and bounds is just think of the frame as the outside of an art picture and think of the bounds as the inside, the normalized coordinates that doesn't care what doesn't it doesn't care what's around it, what's in the next corner. It just cares about what's in the picture frame and the frame cares about what's next to it, how it's looking 
all around the museum. I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this video.